Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your man Hassani the Geeky BK with another video for you guys. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. I haven't done a video in uh I haven't done a video in a while. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm back, start doing a little bit more videos and stuff like that. All the people who miss me, my bad. I'm gonna keep up. I just kinda ran out of stuff to kinda talk about, you know what I mean? I didn't get any new um tech stuff. I haven't really seen too many new movies and stuff like that. Um, I know E3 and all that stuff is about to start up this week or next week or something like that. But, you know, there's a couple other, couple good, cool things coming out that I'm going to, you know, talk about. But today, I'm going to talk about Wonder Woman. The gods gave us many gifts. One day you'll know them all. This is where we keep them. It's beautiful. Wonder Woman was an awesome 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 movie dc finally did a movie that was just totally awesome and i noticed they kind of jacked marvel a little bit on that intro but we ain't gonna say nothing about that but it was good my opinion oh yeah let you know it is a little spoiler so if you haven't seen it don't watch the movie you'll have some spoilers in there but i noticed that it was action-packed it built the storyline it had funny moments too now originally the lady who, who starred as cast as uh, Wonder Woman when I first saw her and I first heard about her I was like eh, I don't know if she's gonna be a good Wonder Woman but she did a good job when she was in Batman vs Superman boy she was whooping dooms that ass boy she was woo yeah that was dope But in the new movie, the Wonder Woman movie, the way it starts off, the way it builds up as from a childhood until like the 40s, or 1920s, or 30s, or something like that, it was dope. It was real dope. The Amazons on the islands was true Amazon. They had some black Amazons in there too. I was like, yeah, that's what's up. I like that. That's what's up. And it was like the fight sequences where he's doing slow motion and stuff like that when he's shooting the arrow. I was like, yeah, that was dope. You know, the way the dude was a German, he was an American spy working on the German, working with the Germans to find the formulas that he was trying to figure out that they was trying to create to send the war. Man, bro, when they came on that island and they all came out, they was them, them Amazons jumping from the top of the mountains and stuff like that. I was like, yeah. It was messed up because they didn't know a bullet and all the other stuff, so they were getting shot by the arrows and stuff like that, but man, it was dope. But what really got me was, well, I never knew she was a god. I just knew she had superpowers and stuff like that. I never really read her comics, but I've been watching the TV shows for a long time. You know what I mean? I know about the movie, you know, cartoons and all that other stuff. And lately, the Batman vs Superman, the Justice League movie coming up and all that. So I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. I know what I know what Woman was about. I never knew she was a god. Oh my god, she was, she was dope. Cause it was like her mom's the queen was like, yo, you know, you got this sword. It's the god killer. He lied to her because he she didn't want her to know her true potential because she was overprotective of her daughter. But she realized like, you know what? What? It's, it's cool. You got someday got to train. And the lady who trained her, boy, she was she was training her harder than everybody else, man. And then when she came out there and one of them put her arms up like that, I was like, and the whole thing went boom. Everybody smiled like, oh, dope, dope, dope. And it was you know it was cool. Then after that, you know she left the island. Well, she was trying to sneak off the island, but you know she got on the boats and stuff. They gave her. And they went back to I think it was London or whatever they went to. Or Germany, I forgot what exactly where it went to, but man, it was it was dope, and it was it had its funny parts too, you know, because she was all she's an Amazon, you know, what I mean, beautiful and stuff like that, and that was the day and age where women had to be covered up a little bit more, and they were dressed like her. I think she was slutty and all that other stuff, man, but she had some balls. She went up until the meetings, 
and she was just talking like a man. It was looking at her like, girl, you, you better recognize who you are, who you messing with. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it, it was dope. But what really grabbed it for me was the fight sequences and the way they built the story up. The fight sequences, when she realized what the power she has, you know what I mean? When she was saving that town, that was dope. She was just, just whooping ass and all that stuff. And then at the end, when she fought the God of War, Ares, bruh. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, the whole, whole mission of leaving the island, Paradise Island, was to find and kill Ares. Ares is the god of war. So he was the purpose of causing all the war. So her belief was she killed Ares, she could end the war. But when she finally met up with Ares at the end, Ares was like, you know, I didn't cause the war, but I didn't cause the war, but what I did is I insinuated with people. I added stuff in their thought, thought process so they would just feed on that. And it's like, you know what? That's nothing but the devil right there, because that's what he do. He would just say little small stuff, and you'd be like, oh damn, you know I should do it. And it just grow from there. It's like a virus that spread. But bruh, the, the way she realized her power, because he whoop her ass at first. Oh, he whoop her ass. But the way she realized her powers, and she started whooping, and she, she finally realized, got up and beat him, like, yeah. Now, my friend was like, why she didn't do that doomsday? Like, yeah, that was kind of, yeah. Cause we got a little electric, electricity boat and all that stuff. But I was like, yeah. I would have beat doomsday ass a little bit quicker had we known that, but it's okay. But um, the main storyline, you know, she befriended the dude. He was a spy. Um, he fell in love with her, of course. He got some of that, that Wonder Woman coochie. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. But yeah, you know what I mean? Then she fell in love. When she really fell in love, she realized her true her true power, her true potential, and stuff like that. So my recommendation is definitely go see it. Even if you're not a comic book fan, or even if you just like, hey, Wonder Woman, you'll love this movie. Because it's a good movie where you can enjoy it. You know, if you're a comic book fan, you'll love it even more. And if you like me and you love Wonder Woman from, you know, back in the 70s TV show, her little fine as my first love, oh my God. I mean, you'll love it even more because she was she was good and it was a male I mean a female dominated movie directed by the female director and it was like it was really 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 good definitely a great movie to collect to go see and when it come out DVD get a DVD collection so I gave it two thumbs up on that movie and I said everybody go check it out so once again it's your man Hassani the Geeky Me K with another video sorry for the delay for so many videos but I'm gonna come back week brings new videos and stuff like that and check out the leave link below for the email and stuff like that email us check out tell me what you think about this and all that peace love and hair grease